All right, guys. Working in a 2009 Toyota Tacoma, and this thing to start from the beginning. Uh, we, I mean, the owner changed a lot of parts. Uh, looking for the problems. Uh, remaining problem misfire in cylinder two, four, and six. And uh, the situation here was a bad cat. Uh, I run a lot of tests uh, with the oscilloscope. Um, hot function. Uh, and uh, I did a ramp test and all the coils I did, I cannot get to the injectors guys. So uh, the injectors are buried under the intake. And uh, this is what I gonna do. Uh, so as you can see, the, the injectors there bury under the intake, so you cannot get to those guys unless the engine is off. Uh, you can energize those injectors with a special tool that look like this. A tool that look like this, and you can energize injectors and use a fuel pressure gauge and the uh, and watch the pressure go down and you write it down for each injector the injector with the difference in in power i mean and pounds and psi that is the injector with the problem but uh we cannot get to do that because it got the intake on it so we did the ramp test and the coils and we figured it out that this is the bank with the problems. And uh, we did a compression test and two cylinders. And it looks the same. Anything in compression more than 25 pounds different, it will create a engine a shaking or misfire. So that is not the problem with this guy. So, I don't know if you can see that piece of wood down there. And it's, uh, we removed the sensor and all the misfire went away. All the misfire in that bank went away. Uh, before that, we tried to accelerate the engine with that sensor connected. It was struggling to accelerate and uh, it was back backfiring from the intake too. So um, a giveaway, it was also a little rattle in the exhaust, which is a loose cat that I believe. Like I say, I don't know if you guys can see down there where is the piece of wood and where we removed the sensor. And uh, right now, I'm gonna do a quick run the engine, but let me get to uh, bi-directional test, live data. Guys, I I not been doing videos. I I lose my mom in the beginning of the year, and I been not doing too much. So this is uh, something quick that I come to help these guys with this because they change mass airflow. They change all the all the things. You can imagine they change all the six injectors too. So, this is our misfire counts. I'm gonna start the engine, it's gonna be a little loud. 
Let's see. And that's what you can see there. It was a misfire in the beginning. It was a misfire in the beginning, uh, starting the engine. But uh, everything went away. And you gotta have now, we got uh, problems, you know, we got that sensor removed from there, so that is a problem. So uh, we're gonna take this to a exhaust uh, shop and remove those cats and go from there and we see you back with this problem. Okay guys, uh, this is the second part. I bought this tool on Amazon, uh, which uh, is like $70. I, I did a call in this truck, 2009 Tacoma with a four liter. It comes with all these adapters. This is what the O2 sensor flange uh, adapter. And this is to do a test before and after the cat making a hole in the exhaust. They say to use a 3 8 uh, drill bit. Now, this is the gauge here. And as you can see in the gauge, uh, it says uh, the green is supposed to be the car at idle. You know, should be no back pressure there. But, um, and you see, can see at idle, if it goes to the red, it's a bad thing, okay? Uh, and then at 2500 RPMs, it should stay in the green. A yellow is, uh, you know, two and a half pounds of pressure, uh, PCI, and, uh, and then if it jumps to the red, you know, it's not good. We already start the engine and this thing is running at idle at, uh, in the red, okay? Like a five pounds. We rub the engine to 2,500 and this needle jump all the way to past 15 pounds. So we're gonna start the engine and uh, we're gonna see what happened. Uh, the other thing that I forget to mention, guys, uh, this is bank two. The other side is bank one. So cylinder one is in the passenger side, and the cylinder bank two is in the driver side. My connection here with this cage is down there, and the first sensor that you see that there. Uh, the adapter connected to the first bank one sensor one. Now, before we got misfire and cylinder two, four, and six, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So bank uh, six, two, four, and six, and then bank two, and one, and uh, three, and five is in bank one. Now, let me start the engine, and you're gonna see the gauge at idle. This is at idle. That's the gauge at idle. If I put it at 2500, forget about it. So 
That is an idle. I hear a noise in the engine that I don't hear before. I don't want to keep this engine running too much, but uh, the call here that I did, uh, when I find out, when I take out the sensor, yes, this car have a clock cat. He have a back pressure, and that was an idle. That needle was fluctuating in the red there. Guys, next thing, he bought these cats not too long ago. They got to be replaced. And immediately do a troubleshooting because it don't take that long to take a cat and ruin a cat when something is wrong mechanically or uh, misfire in the car. But uh, looking for the problem here, they change all the injectors, they change the mass airflow, they change intake, lower and upper intake uh, gasket. Uh, they did all the spark plugs. Um, we do find problems with the connection when somebody working engines uh, do this job. Uh, we do find some connector wasn't connected uh, all the way, like in the coils. Uh, that's something that you gotta take uh, when you troubleshooting uh, someone been there before. You gotta double check those connectors because uh, sometimes they don't clip it all the way in and that makes problems. All right, thank you guys for watching.